Portuguese switch, they've got a chance to do it here. And against Monte, they should be the favorites coming into this one, but so much talent on that Monte roster. We also haven't mentioned here, Roro 2K in the mix, right? He's a very yeah. prolific, can be, have a huge amount of impact groups and play for Mad Lions. So there's plenty of strong individuals. The question is, will the team play of Saw be what trumps them? We're gonna see as we jump into Nuke. Monte on that CT side, Saw on the attack. I think the question mark for Waro is he needs to start performing because he didn't have the best of showings on Dust 2 against Outsiders. But look at this from Saw. This one's quick. Waro, he does spot out these players. Red Star is in from heaven, but he's being peppered down by utility and these USP bullets. Might not even matter, though, because the kills are coming in for all of Monte. It's just story and jerks alive. It's that for the win element of Saw, and they need to try and combine. They need to try and make this one work, and... Well, Story's currently just waiting for his teammates to kind of make some contact out towards main. It looks like Red Star might catch this off. Oh, timing. Yeah, going to be removed. That's the bomb dropped, and that Story is just left all alone. Yeah, all alone. Just the bomb and a bit of armor to his name. A bomb plant here would be a huge win. Fesso is holding it. He's up towards ramp. But Story could cross a, uh, here and maybe get this bomb down. Oh, actually, he's not clearing for this position. So as soon as he goes to this bomb plant, that's where Fesso is going to start to come out. He's making a lot of noise. So Story is going to win that duel and he's looking for more. That was the chance. He finds that kill and suddenly we're on. But now he's being hounded every single direction. The Monte player is coming for him and he's going to go down in dark. Monte are going to get the pistol round. Yeah, story in clutch scenarios at a conference, I remember, it was he was often so good for them. That one's a, a little bit too far-fetched of an idea to throw his name into the hat for. It's just too many players to try and contend with. One plant would have been great, but I don't think he would have been allowed a safe opportunity of respite of around about four seconds to punch in the numbers. Monte, good start on the CT side. However, saw so they have forced back into this with the pistols. See what they can do. Vessel going for the fight here with the MP9. Gonna take down Jerk immediately, and he's looking for more. Wants to take the fight to them. Well, he knows positions here. Red Star's coming to support with the M4 as well. Just what a deagle. Vessel removed. Red Star not activated yet, but Just is definitely gonna know he's there now. Bit of chip damage either way, and Red Star's gonna fall all the way back towards ramp. So it goes one for one in the end. That MP9 actually gets collected, so it's not actually too bad for Saw. They've managed to get a player down towards the B site in the mix of this. Tyrus is all the way down here. And he's looking to maybe flank onto Red Star here. They know he's out towards ramp. He can find a way to make his way through, but he has to make the sound cue to do it, and that's the difficult part. Patience game for Saw right now. Reset him back in towards lobby. Roman with the MP9 story. Well, they're going to try and go on this contact potentially because they made noise down. Demka all oh, in a difficult position, but will strike with the MP9 and suddenly all the kills are falling in favor. Oh, hello. <laughs> the bomb is falling down the vent. Thank you very much. You'll take that one. That's a bomb plant. <laughs> That's... What? <laughs> That's so funny. Fair enough. All right. I mean, you can't really argue with that, can you? So we'll take that all day long. And, well, there's potential for a couple of weapons potentially being found here. Not quite. Demka with the MP9 on towards Muteris and somehow Saw get a bomb plant in the most unlikely of circumstances. That's crazy. <laughs> just falls straight down the vent in front of him. He's not even holding. He's just holding there in case they try to, to run down after they find his teammates and the bomb just falls into his lap. He'll take it. That's like the bomb plant. And so that's going to allow them to maybe get some upgraded pistols into this one. So it does come with a bit of a brew, an extra couple of hundred bucks onto the back of all these Saw players. So that is certainly something. Actually, yeah, they are going to half buy into this one. That lost bone is going to allow them to buy out full into the following anyway. So yeah, that bomb plant maybe makes a difference here, right? Because uh, I don't know if they'd be able to invest quite as much as they have. Some of this utility wouldn't be able to come through. So if it makes any difference in the round itself. It's as fast. Change of pace for Saw. Trying to cross with these outside smokes. No one's going to spam them. So Mutris will get down with the MAC-10. There's rotations on the way for Monte. You see Waro has stepped in on the stairs towards Decon. Just holding this position. Muteris running. Waro completely fumbles his lines. And now there's so many players about to converge in this position. Good for the first and the second. Even swaps the USP, but Story 
will overwhelm. Not enough bullets in that magazine vessel. It's now his opportunity to try and make things happen. And this flank on towards control room is absolutely perfect. Still coming for free. Fessel are even considering maybe a knife there, but decides against it. Story has got that bomb, so you should be able to get this plant down. Consider dropping the smoke, but he's actually fumbled his lines a bit because now Fessel and Demka come through for the last two kills. So it's going to be a relatively clean one more going down after getting that double kill. 2k in the name, 2k in the game. Now the technical comes through for Saw because they're going to have the full buy into this round. Makes sense. Wants a clear direction. Coming into this for Saw. It's quite easy stuff here on the replays. Vessel thinking about it, but not quite. Timer ticks on down. We get a minute to breathe and kind of always reflect on what's happened here today because there have been some crazy games here on the B stream. Yeah, I feel like... A lot of them felt like they were going to be maybe one-sided games, but we've certainly had some incredible stories. That ecstatic comeback that uh, kicked things off that wasn't quite to be. We saw that incredible game we just witnessed right between Sangal and Fantasy that again looked like an incredible late stage comeback. I think the only game that kind of went to script was probably that Game of Legion Aurora gaming game, which um, Game of Legion closed out fairly comfortably once the side swapped, but uh, otherwise there's been a, a lot of really back and forth games. It was interesting that Acor in the interview just pointed out the fact that they do start slowly, and that's completely correct. I mean, you've got a 7-0 start, and then you transition that into a recovery. And how interesting to see that from Gamer Legion. The fact that they're able to dig their heels in, recover the situation, especially because of how just impactful that Aurora were looking, taking the space, to, commanding the map control towards middle and shelf. And then, yeah, you reflected on it, the Sangal and Fantasy game, where it felt like at any moment, either one of those teams was just on the edge of complete collapse. And Fantasy, they look pretty good, but we're now having some teams that are slowly starting to be established here in the 0-2 bracket. Uh, another one that might be a little bit of a surprise is Heat. They lost to K23. That's one that uh, I didn't expect. Heat, you know, I was looking at them as maybe a, a team that could definitely upset. We've seen them put up some great performances. Obviously, a uh, new addition as well. They just feel like they're a good roster, but having some difficulties in some of these matchups, right? Like, uh, I, K23, that feels like an easy one. Particularly, you got Jax coming in, who's, you know, had all that experience at the top level, uh, you know, knows what it's like to play against the very best. K23, I mean, they're not the very best. They're pretty good. But uh, Heat should be winning that one. Should be, but that puts them in the 0-2 bucket. Also, some teams in there. Fours. Aurora, as we've mentioned. Eternal Fire facing elimination as well. I mean, this is... It's going to transition into the best of threes. So there is hope for some of these teams who are used to just playing these series and can't get upset by a rogue strategy here or there. But, I mean, it's not the start that they would expect here at the RMR. Yeah, and I guess that's the virtue of the best of ones. The, the best of three isn't the reason that they're there for those elimination and progression games. is because that's sort of where these teams with a lot more experience and uh, the sort of more expected uh, winners can come through because, you know, they've got all that uh, experience playing these long series. They have a deeper map pool, deeper strap book that they can flex. So that's why they're there as the elimination progression games, just to prevent any crazy upsets. Like imagine if you could qualify just from winning best of ones, that could cause all sorts of chaos. So it is by design. It does allow these teams that can run on these Cinderella runs to, you know, maybe get off to a good start, be 2-0 up. And then, you know, as soon as they get into the best of three, that's where the crunch is on. Just a little bit of a sound issue that we're just taking care of behind the scenes. So hopefully this gets resolved momentarily. We can jump back into the action and we can continue to anticipate currently the first gun round coming in on towards Nuke. But impressed with how Monte have been performing so far. I mean, you, you kind of expect Saw to be that little bit better with the experience. You don't really know what you're really going to get out of Monte. They're a real mixed bag. They've been playing together for quite a while. They have been competing in these tier two tier three tournaments on a consistent basis and well just it looks like i have spoken it into existence timer ticks on down saw ready and raring to go with the ak's 
All right, let's see what they can do now they have the full purchase out. Enemy P also out for Warrior 2 k This is one that we're interested to see take place. He's going for an aggressive peek. He's looking for the fight, sitting in front of this smoke. Have to play it off guard. There it is, a freebie onto Story. He'll take that one. And now Joel is pushed up as well alongside him. Fantastic double up. Vessel, well, he's going to catch up just walking through the smoke. Vessel almost gets a second as well. Red Star there to close it out. Monty are looking so impressive here. Fighting kills all across the map. Every member chiming in so far. Save damn cube. He's going to potentially find one. Tyrus once again has found his way down. Once again, it's done so without any teammates around him. And this time, the bomb is not going to be dropped down in towards the vent for him. Has to try and recover it over towards ramp. And yeah, in that round, Monte is just getting aggressive. They know that the investment is finally out for Source. So they just want to make them as uncomfortable as possible. That's why you've got this lobby crunch in from Warrow. You've also got the push in from ramp with Fessor, who gets a kill and then gets traded out by his teammate. It's just a, a classic case of Monte taking the fight to Saw, trying to flex their muscles a little bit of the, in terms of their individual skill, because that is a big factor as to why they've got here. These are very talented individuals who, for one reason or another, haven't made themselves into an organization. So now they've just decided to come together and see what they can really do here, try and do some damage here at the RMR. And it's going to be 4 to 0, a flawless start for them. Yeah, doing damage here, aren't they? Great stuff from Monte, and yeah, I love that setup. They, they go for the crunch from, from ramp, two players pushing up through there. They have two players pushing in through a single door as well. Waru gets that first kill, and Joel has just slipped through to come in next to him uh, in, in that room. So it's a perfect bait and switch setup. And see him there, bit of team damage, bit of fun. As they get up to four, saw yet to answer. See if this will be the round they do it. Might not be. Just that rifle that was saved over from the prior. Surrounded by Tech 9. So potentially something a bit pacey on the cards. Has to start happening sooner rather than later. We have seen comebacks here on Nuke already. But for right now, these rounds haven't felt that close. Vessel trying to get aggressive in towards ramp again. Potential fight. Could be taking place, but look at Materis. He's just in towards main. Bashbangs come in, and Roman combines really nice stuff. Demka, they know about his position, but Materis is just standing in the Molotov. Demka goes aggressive. Stories now removed. Three versus three. The bomb site it has been overrun, but there's no real safe opportunity to plant. They have to get that one down though. You can see how worried they are about this push coming through. Two players in towards lobby, one in the heavens. Vessel with that smoke as well is using it to his advantage. They're just trying to take the fight and more 2k. Now the bomb's been delivered to him. It's the inverse out of the hands of the terrorists. Roman and Materius have to try and put this one together and Warriors push forward as well. Demka's got the AWP now that's been juggled over. Fessa holding on to the rifle. Demka's just sitting back, holding the line here. They're going to walk straight into him. Any second now, easy kill. 8-0 at the moment. Can he make it a ninth as Roman is now in his one versus three? It was a three versus three, but they've just been picked apart. Roman going to start to progress forward. Demka's on a very long stack now. No, he was low HP in War 2K. He activates, deals with him. And Monte, they managed to hold strong in the 3v3. Precious building for Saw already. You can see what they're trying to go for. Materis has got a crafty knack of just finding these little pockets of space. Makes his way in towards main this time. And in the three versus three, they've got complete control of the bomb site. They're, they're not currently under any pressure apart from a one-way smoke in towards heaven. And for some reason, the bomb planter is the one that goes searching for information. That's the bomb drop. That's the round done. Saw they crumble and it's just an error that's made by themselves. Unfortunate. This time going to be another fast one out towards outside. Warrior 2k hears Materius and hits the shot. Fantastic kill from him. And now he's trying to reposition, worried about a push through another smoke. And guess what it is? It's Jerks walking through a smoke and Warrior 2k finding the kill. Meanwhile, though, just did find a kill. So did Roman. The bomb has been lost. Dropped out in towards Seeker and that's being held as well. Joel is down here, has it under lock and key. Vessel's rotating over to support. Warrior 2K is here as well. They've got it pinned in. Story and Roman don't have a lot to work with either. A single flashbang to try and recover this bomb and the round. 
Forrest go hunting for more. Story thinks better about putting the pin on his grenade. Joel can rotate up to the secret stairs. Warrior gets caught out by Roman. But here's where Joel's going to start to creep his way forward. He knows that the bomb's been dropped. However, oh, Story nearly wins out that gunfight. And then Fessel just swings out from hell. Monte keeping it clean. Yeah, that one felt like uh, Joel might have gone down there, getting a little overeager on the peak, right? He has the bomb there. He has a bit of utility he can dispense as well to slow things down, but he wants to go for that fight and almost felt like that headshot angle being held by Saul was going to punish him, but he does get that kill, and then Fessel finds the second, so Monte flawless start here on the CT side. 6-0, Saw trying things differently that time. They try and go for a bit of pressure outside, pushing through those smokes, trying to catch Waru 2k off guard, but Waru is just ready for it. He's ready for each of those pushes as they come and gets two easy kills, and that's just a matter of time for the rest of the team to get picked off. It's kind of though, Tech 9, they're making their way, well, Roman tries to make his way down the vent, does get there, and the rest of the pressure is towards ramp. Nice kill from Fessel. Bomb dropped as well, and he's looking for more doubles up. Another player has crossed over, and Red Star is here to deal with him. Sharp aim on all of these players. Here with the Tech 9 gets one in response, but once again, this player alone, this time in towards the vents. Roman, not really much to do here. Maybe they should start putting the bomb on the player that always makes it down the vent. I don't know. There's so there's so many instances in this game where Saw have got one player la left last alive. He's hit this crazy timing where he's found an opportunity to get down to the lower bomb site, and then all the team just dies around him. In this round, okay, it's a little bit more expected. It's just the Tech Nine partial investment that has come in. Well, the head armor has been purchasing some utility as well, but going up against the M4s, especially with a double ramp setup such as Monte put into that round. Yeah, no wonder another time that's been cool. This is really falling apart for Saw. It's uh, a very, like, uninspired show in here on Nuke from them. They're the ones that took us here too, right? They they had the choice. They decided to, yeah. to repeat Nuke. They they had that tough game yesterday against Heroic on, on the same map where they were only able to get four rounds on the T side. And this time around, it's feeling like they might not even get that with, with how things are going. There's still eight rounds left to play, but they have to get a single one on the board. Just feels like Monte are just in all the right places. They have the perfect reads and sort of just cannot make headway into this. I mean, you just you just take a look at the kill distribution. I mean, it's it's just not there for Saw. Yes, everyone is finding kills, but it's just a case of quantity. These rounds haven't been close. It also reflects in the bank balances. Vessels up to twelve thousand dollars. Dire straits for Saw already. They're looking to potentially go a little bit aggressive, more towards outside. Mutiris is content with two of these players. Even if Red Star just swings out, I don't think he expects Demka. Yeah, that position always gets a kill. Guaranteed. It never doesn't. So Demka is guaranteed one here, 100%. Calling it right now. Oh, actually, maybe oh. not now that he's fallen off and made a big noise. I cursed it. He's actually decided to fall back anyway. The lack of any presence outside has made him fall off, and this is actually the wrong call because Sora now repositioning, and they are looking to go outside, looking to hit it again. Lack of smokes is actually, they're getting ready to throw them, so they're going to come through now. So they're going to have the cross smokes ready to deploy it. It's a particular setup, and it's a fake, actually. The info isn't there. Monte don't know it's a fake, but Warrior's got a really nice angle here. Definitely going to be peeking into him, and there it is. Good shot, no trade potential. He can reposition as well, looking for more, and there it is. Drops the bomb as well. Now he's just tucked in, and now Demka comes through to save the day. Once again, it's a single Saw member with nothing to do, just looking for anything, and Fessor is there to deny. I mean, in that round, the reason why Waro and Demka just stay completely still, they don't try and rotate over, is because Red Star's been in secret the whole time. And that's been a, a real element of Monte's defense. They've more often than not got a player down here in towards the secret stairs, trying to lock off any sort of control sore throw when they go towards outside. That round it originally looked a little bit better, right? I mean, saw they slowed things down. They didn't really want to fight Monte in a head-on collision because it hasn't really been going in their favor. And just when you think, okay, well, they've regrouped, they can't really flush out the secret player. There's not enough control outside. They don't send the player down to really deal with lower this time. Oh, the whole gang's down here. So is Red Star. 
Ooh, get stinked there. Bit misleading, gonna drop the incendiary so he can get away with it. Gonna be charging him down and he is standing strong. Does a lot of damage on the two players, but doesn't find the kill. Demko, he's here. He's come through and he's good for the kill. Also the ADP, all of the rotations coming down, but Roman has a lot of war. Oh god, that's the that ADP that's best like here to save the day. Nice double up. Now it's just Mysterious left in a 1 versus 2. Max 10 at that range. Never gonna get it done. 9-0 is the scoreline. Monte look unstoppable on the CT side of Nuke. Yeah, Soldiers look a little bit lost. That time it was another pace change. They get down towards Secret. They try and make it work. But when they go out towards the bottom side, they don't really clear any of their angles. They try and disperse a couple of players out at a time. And it's really to their detriment. You've got the MAC-10 up close in towards control room. There is a player on the other side of things, but Fessa just still takes two. Gets a multi-kill, and that's more than enough. Spike comes back in for Saw, but it's a matter of can they even get around on the board currently. Story, that's a good trade. We'll finally eliminate Red Star, who's been an absolute menace outside. One player is down the vent again, Roman. Tasked with that responsibility. So finally, there's an assemblance of some sort of mid-round. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen Saw get the pieces into place in this tier side that they've been trying to for nine rounds now. Takes ten to get these players down here in all position. The bomb is here safely as well, not dropped out in the middle of nowhere. And the best part of this is Monte don't actually have anybody down here to deal with it yet, so it's a, a good setup from Saw. And they get this bomb site for free. Monte, they're definitely going to give this a look, and you can see you mentioned that money earlier. They've got plenty to work with. Try and make this as expensive as possible for Saw, even if you can't win it. Looks like they were going to retake from Ramp. All four of them, in fact. Nope. As soon as I say that, Demka runs back towards the vent. Roman. He's in close quarters here towards Ramp. If he gets one flashback through, no, instead he pushes the issue. Forces Vessel once the utility is out. In fact, he's going to keep going for more, but the trades, though, they are favourable towards Saw. This feels like it will be their round, especially with Waro versus Free. All right. So you get all the pieces in place, and that equates to a round conversion for Saw, but they need to do it on a consistent basis. Yeah, it's not a good ratio of rounds one. One to the nine of Monte. Most they can hope for here is six, and even that feels unlikely given how things are going. It's an uphill battle all across the board. Monte are loaded for days based on that nine round win streak. At least Saw do keep three alive, so they're in a reasonable position going into this one. Monte weren't able to make that as expensive as they hoped. In fact, they all tried to go down Rav. It was just such a choke point, that smoke making it difficult, and then Roman taking some great fights as well. Story catching the flank on the other side. So a moment of brilliance. Can they repeat it? Warrior going for aggression where he hasn't gone yet, which is outside. I can see the change up. Jerks has found the opener. Warrior is going to get this kill eventually. It's a little bit tricky there. Jerks, look at him. He's made it all the way through the back lines. They get a lot of noise though, and Vessel surely is going to hear this. Maybe not. Okay. No, he's going to get taken down. Jerks. He's opening this one up. Two kills. Double these kills in this round. Joel, though, and unaccounted for in towards Rav has found two. And they still haven't dealt with him. He even gets a third. Joel. Unbelievable hold in towards Rav has saved the day for Monte. And now Roman is left once again in a clutch. One versus two. Moro 2K is here with the AWP. Roman trying to clear for it, but Warrior's in the spot in fires with a warning shot. Doesn't connect. Now the information is there for Roman. He doesn't have to commit to this. He has a minute to work with, and he's drawn the rotations down to the B bomb site. He can now make his way up towards A, but obviously he doesn't know where they are. And Monte, they aren't being static about this. They've rotated back as well. Demke, he was down towards Secret. Now he's made his way back up. He's going to hear this. He's going to hear Roman going up heaven. Rotation come through from Vent, and he can come through from heaven. This is going to be very difficult for Roman. Just needs to be on the swivel here. Just needs to peek this heaven player first. Instead, Waro, he's making all the noise, drawing all the attention closer. But even Molotov for bomb, for good measure. As soon as that dissipates, Monte, they'll hit double digits. And... What a performance from Joel. I really like the idea from Saw in that round. You see that Jerks works his way forward, even catches off the Heaven player, but just Joel swings his neck round on the swivel like an owl. Even catches off this third player. It's just disgusting. Yeah, Roman sort of uh, leans into that a little bit too late, right? And uh, isn't there. I guess he's worried about giving Joel that third kill in that quick sequence, so he kind of holds before he picks, but 
Ends up being like about half a second too late and uh, teammate goes down before he can get that trade. It's been every individual stepping up here for Monty and it is a team of individual stars, right? That's, that's why they are here and that's why we talk about them as a potential upset team because of that superpower they have behind the squad. And they're firing on all cylinders here on Nuke. Once again, Saw have at least managed to cross outside, undetected as well. That's the bomb down. Three players have made their way out there. They've got one outside still. And then they've got a player in lobby as well in Roman. So Crunch is going to come onto Roman soon. Aura is looking for it with the AWP. Ooh, that flash actually blinds him off. But it has now left him for this presence of Roman. Roman's, well, Aura's not even needed because Demk is just going to take the fight. Confess it as well. Oh, he's read this one perfectly. Gets two kills. In fact, it's Red Star to chime in and even snaps onto the Decon player story. Last alive again. That really is the same old tale for Saw. One player just left on the extremity, now trying to retake the position. And Monte, they've got complete coverage off this bomb site and even the C4 to boot. 45 seconds, you take a look at the economy and you think, okay, well, Saw, they're on a little bit of a loss bonus, but at the same time, they really need to go for this. You need to put rounds on the board. Difficult one here, creeping his way down towards ramp, but realistically, this has got a Monte round written all over it. Oh, this ain't going to be an amazing one for story. More of an Edgar Allan Poe tale, that one. Not going to be able to get that round. 11 now for Monte. Saw. Using a tactical timeout here, but uh, they're going to need a bit more than that. It just feels like they've been through for Monte time after time. The time they had that opening, you know, Fessel gets a kill, but Red Star just on that rotation is fantastic. Gets a double up and there's just no chance into it. Tactical going to be wrapping up shortly. I think that's maybe even two back to back there. Yeah, big breather. Very much needed. The most... Oh, another one. All right. Well, the most uh, rounds that Saw can really put together here in a row is three. And it means their score tally will upgrade to a modest four um however given the nature of the way this has been played out i think that saw have got good ideas it's just the execution of them has not always been the best especially when you're contending with a really dynamic ct side that are just going to move at the slightest kind of noise the slightest indication of what is trying to take these fights because that's what monte are really capable of doing and they've already shown it especially with joel on that 3k towards ramp vessel holding up towards control room these players are very individually skilled, so they will try and take the initiative. They will try and fight you tooth and nail. And that's going to be as favourable as a gunfight as they can have, really. I'll cast your mind back, Brandon. And I'll cast the audience's mind back if you're with us this morning when Ecstatic found themselves in a similar position to Saw. They had two rounds at the half. It was 13-2. They lost the pistol and the conversion, but they staged the comeback. It could happen again. Do not count Saw out of this one. We've seen some miraculous games here so far. Actually, if you're a Saw fan, maybe you don't want to see that story come to an end because uh, that didn't actually work out for Ecstatic. But the comeback still happened. They got it to overtime. Just couldn't close. Let's get the repeat. Roman down through events. The rest of the team linking up through secret. All five, no flank player coming through in lobby, so it's a complete committal here. Look at the rotations. Fessel, Red Star, already here on site. Gonna be a tough one. You've got the orc coming in as well. Roman, he does deal with Fessel, and they clear Red Star as well. Okay, perfect entries on towards the bomb site. He's even looking for more. Joel, well, actually does catch out Mutaris, but Roman is still here. He can still swing on this position, but hang on a second. Oh my goodness me, Joel. What is that? That's a way back into the round. Three versus two. Just and Jerks has to try and contend with this. Needs to deal with the player in the vent because that's a known entity. Demka is here. Oh, in fact, he doesn't even know about it. All oh, the kills just come in a blink of an eye. How has that one just completely dissipated from Saw? How have they let that happen? Oh my lord, that one. That one hurts. Collective sigh of pain from Portugal right now. That wasn't it. 
such good entries from Roman as well. They dealt with Fessel, they dealt with Red Cell, the two players on the side that were there to shut this one down, but then it all just starts to fall apart. An incredible series of kills from Joel. This is just fantastic triple kill. Demka, I, I like the idea, right? He gets spotted. They both spot each other. So he just he just keeps tight. He sits there. He knows he's got two players on the site anyway, and Jerks has to come and deal with him. So he just sits back, Jerks, thinks he's crossed, thinking that he has to be mobile, has to be getting a move on in this retake, and then he just kind of goes. This time around, Moro is going to get the opener, and Fester is sitting here for the bait and switch. Roman does get one in response, but Moro is still here. He wants to keep fighting. That flash is going to do nothing, but they are going to get away. They've lost two teammates in the process. Look at Demka as well. 15 and 2 right now, making 16. Quick headshot. Can't quite adjust on towards Roman. It feels like Roman at the moment is doing everything for Saw. But that's the bomb dropped. And Ambutirius is left all alone, and well, he's in heaven. More like hell. Both a literal, mm. figurative, and spiritual sense. Warrior going to send him to the grave. 13-1, the scoreline. Monte, what is this performance? If you told me this was going to be the, the most one-sided game we would see here today, I would not have believed you. I thought this was going to be such a close affair. And Monte are just running all over Saw. It's just the aggression that Saul can't keep up with. Multiple lobby pushes from Monte. Swinging in. There's even an auto sniper on the floor. <laughs> I mean, last round of the first oh, half. What in Fessel's hands. Oh, no. Oh, it's a collateral that doesn't quite get the second kill. And Warren's it's repositioned. It's chaos. Joel gets that kill. Just is still limping Fessel with that auto. Not gonna go. Oh, it's a oh, knife no. in the mix, Moro. Oh, why do you have to do it to him like that? They're already bleeding. Why are you gonna make it hurt first? He's looking for more. He's got his knife out. He's slashing away. Tears is going to deal with him, but they all fall to Red Star. 14 1 is the half. Monte look unstoppable. Smiles on their faces. Can Saw recover? Well, time will tell, and that time will be in just a few minutes.
Well, welcome back, everybody. You can see here into the Monte camp. They have been off to an incredible start here uh, on you could even maybe call it a finish as they are now two rounds away from closing things out what an incredibly dominant half against Saw I mean who would have expected this one Saw so, it's just the game plan has just gone entirely out the window it just feels like they haven't been playing and re-representing themselves as the best version of themselves normally they win 52% of the T rounds that they play not ideal but they are on the favoured CT side, however, and Jerks is now to be contested all the way over at ramp. Story steps in towards hell, but in fact, he's just being overwhelmed. Can't even get out the doorway, Joel. He's just chasing him down. He will have went out the kill at the very least, and he even stays alive for a second. That's really good work, considering he literally had no HP. Yeah, unbelievable. He gets two kills there. Oh, Materius, that's a nice one onto Waro now. It's a little bit weird. Fessor up in the heavens with the bomb, but his teammate is actually over in lobby. Demka. This round hinges on him and whether he can catch someone off guard here and give an avenue into this A-bomb site. Certainly looking for it. One player in towards Hut and just is... That's a kill. Oh, no, it's not a kill. Should have been a kill. Dust has found Fesser as well. So now it is just Jemka and Dust does it with the duelies. They get their first round on the CT side. And then the second round in this game. Much better pistol. Gives a little bit of confidence over towards Saw. Good work by Story as well. Out towards Hell, making sure that Monte can't immediately accelerate up towards the ladder and just pounce upon the A-bomb site from the heavens. Still a long way to go. Just going to be a Deagle being brought into this round for Monte. So for all intents and purposes, should be a third round on the board for Saw. Should be. I don't know if I can cut Monte out of anything <laughs> after what we saw on that CT side. Grouping up outside, trying to let this couple of deagles they have and do some work. Terrace is going to spot play up top of main. And they have plenty of CTs here to support, so it should be easy to clean these up. There goes one deagle. Story dispatches of that one. Nice little kill for the terrace to drop the bomb as well, and this round will slowly get wrapped up. Any kills that the T's find here are fantastic, but oh, nice oh. little kill on the head of the falling player. Getting some aimbots practicing early here, well, late here, I suppose, in this map. Moro, but he's got a nice eagle in his pocket, but not going to be the case this time, Roman deals with him. I mean, there's always this conversation you can bring up where you can say, okay, Saw, so they've been here before. They are experienced. The core has been together for nearly three years. That's how long that timeline is. This core foundation of Portuguese players have been here for this organization. It's just just the manner in which they were really dismantled on that CT side fills me with very little hope. I know it's the CT side and Nuke. I know that they can potentially... But definitely, it's well within their capacity to bring this one over. But you look at the AKs, there's not really too much utility, but the weaponry across the board favors Monte. And their aim has been sharp. Oh, gap in the smoke, though. Tira's going to punish that as Fessel tries to jump across. So everything goes the way of Saul. What can Monte do in response? Justice ready to swing out from the rafters, should he be needed. Waro is outside looking for an opening, trying to get revenge for Fessor, and he's actually caught a timing here. Made his way through to secret, not spotted. That's huge. Materius has been moving about a bit, checking different angles. That's a completely unknown element. That could be what, what changes the tides here for this round. Boss has got the control, though, like... Where can he really go with this? That's the question. Maybe he can come up towards the vents, potentially. However, it looks like Monte are working their way more towards ramp. Trying to split onto this bomb site. Jerks have been boosted up. And Waro's just holding for the vent. As soon as the MP9 takes contact, Story can just swing in. In fact, he's just going to do just that. He gets caught off guard, though. Tries to bait in the SMG. Demka will immediately trade, but that's where Story does step in. All these players are falling, but it's still a two versus three. The issue you have is that Monte are a little bit separated. Going to come down the vents, Mutiris, and Demka finds another kill. How has this really fallen apart? Just has to try and recover the situation. Will upgrade to an AK. 
Oh, he baits it out perfectly. Has to commit to the plant. Just isn't there to fight it. So the bomb goes down and Demko has managed to get himself up into the rafters. Just might not be expecting this. Has to reposition, trying to reload. Can you use the high ground here as an advantage? Demko's holding for it. He's gone behind the silo. Just can't clear this. He has the read on it though. Oh, but Demka swings out in time. Somehow, Monte recover that round and get themselves up. That's just unbelievable. The fact that the kills just come in their favor. They just take individual gunfights and they just fall favor to this side. That's off the back of losing. There was a five versus three thrown in the mix. Warriors just holding the rotations. They've been down the vent the entire time. And just having that little bit of a safety net feels once they have a little bit of confidence. This is 15 free. This is do or die for Saw. Oh, that's going to be a pause. We've got a player frozen in the air. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't look right. That's fine. That's no not, damage. That's not it's a okay. standard angle that you see people yeah. in. Just as, uh, uh, yeah, look at that. Just chilling. It's just chilling. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's a little bit <laughs> unexpected, but that's fine. Look, everyone is just going to get back into the swing of things. We'll take a little bit of a technical pause just to resolve that one. No damage has been done, which is why we can reset the round back to its original state. I've never seen that before, though. Yeah, he's just stuck up there, hanging loose. <laughs> Do the mannequin challenge. Yeah. That's fun. Getting some sick air. Couldn't land it, though. Imagine if they added, like, skateboards to Counter-Strike. Oh, we've got surfing. Yeah, it's taking it to the next level. Roller skates may be better. I feel like that'd be fun. Like there's maybe like a, okay, Valve, if you're listening, you know you you love your cosmetics. You got all the skins for the player models. Give us shoes. I reckon that would go well. And then maybe give us some shoes with the little little uh, little wheels in them. You know what I mean? Heelys. Yeah, Heelys. You ever see kids with those? And you're like, man, I wish they made adult Heelys. So I feel like I could really have a lot of fun with those. Well, it looks like this issue is going to take a little bit longer than we initially anticipated. So what we are going to do is just throw this one to a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll bring you this game in its entirety between Monte and Saw. Don't go too far. We'll see you just in a few moments. Never did it for the fame, never did it for the game. When I picked up the mic, it made my whole world change. Started back in my bedroom with a double cassette. I had nothing to prove, no records to press. Never followed the trend. I just kept pursuing to be original. I copy what everyone else is doing. Large in the charge, against all odds, I don't bite. And call that hand on March, I'm still doing it. Plugging my mic, sound check. It's gonna be another great night. Come correct, got heritage, whatever kid, I'm not worth for hire. And through it all, I never looked. Lost my desire, no regrets. Part of me for being such a dreamer. All these memories keep giving me the fever. I'm red hot, cause good times don't last. And right now, I think I'm just stuck in the past, cause I don't want to follow the trend. A bit of a quick little music break there. Enjoy that one. Some groovy yeah, tunes. A little, uh, just, little interlude. Yeah, just to, to break the ice a bit. It was getting a little bit intense in the server. Had to take a moment, listen to some tunes. Now I can get back into a match point for Monte and quite a few of them to work with. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the bite from Saw, it's a little bit rough. I mean, the utility isn't quite established for them just yet. 
They now need to try and survive. 12 map points is staring them down the barrel. For Monte. I don't want to say inevitability. We said that a lot in that <laughs> first game on Nuke, and it's given me flashbacks already. So we're just going to relax. We're going to settle in. I'm going to firmly strap myself to my chair and see how this one unfolds. Warrow, that's really good damage onto Roman, though. I'm going to take off the Heelys. I'm not going anywhere. Let's see how this one rolls out. Roman really got hurt there. That CG vent is not a brick wall. Can get spammed through it. You can see the blood splatters that cover it. Now Roman's going to get boosted up to a bit of an off angle so that he can maybe get something done despite the low HP. Jack's going to be tested. There he's down in towards wrap. Has the support of a teammate in story if they do decide to go there. But Monte uh, keeping everyone guessing. Holding on to lobby control. Now extending outside as well. Have some smokes so they can throw down. Demka is also going to be supported by a bit of utility to keep them interested towards A, and they're just going to be going dry. Just going straight out towards the Secret. That smoke comes through at a good timing, but not before Story gets the kills in from Heaven. Doubles up, looking for more as well, but falls off after getting damaged. He's already done so much work. Demkir and Fessa, though, they get two back in response. Three versus three now, and two of these Saw players are so low. 20 seconds on the clock, they have to commit to this. Roman, with three HP, was boosted up earlier. He should unravel everything. No, Demka is thorough with his clearing. Now Stora, sorry, on the flank is joined up by Jerks. Demka's looking for them as well. This man is on a mission, but Jerks is going to catch the timing back into the two versus two as the bomb goes down. Yeah, but look at Waro. Look at his position here. Story's not even considering it. Walk straight into the crosshair. I know exactly where Jerks is. Monte will close out in a very dominant fashion. 16 to 3 against Saw. Yeah, not what we expected to see here in the server. Monte coming in swinging, putting up a dominant performance here against Saw. And they're going to have a lot of eyes looking at them now. A team that's flown under the radar, but certainly making noise as they take the series 16 3. We go to a short break and then we come back to uh, talk about that game.